In this example, we have two kids riding bumper cars. Catherine is, has initial velocity VC1 in this direction. Daniel has initial velocity VD1 in this direction. And Catherine is kind of struggling on the bumper cars. She's trying to move forward, and then Daniel just comes and smacks her. And then this is the plane of contact. This is line of impact. So we'll say this is X, this is Y. And we'll say the bumper cars have the same mass. So if we're given masses of the cars, initial velocity of Catherine, initial velocity of Daniel, we need to find the final velocities of Daniel and Catherine. So we'll also need to know coefficient of restitution. Okay, so if we're given that the mass of the car is 100 kilograms, and then coefficient of restitution is 0 0.7. Coefficient of restitution is something you can look up in a table, um, similar to like coefficient of friction. So they have them for different surfaces, but 0 0.7 is a pretty standard for bumper cars. Now, Catherine is going 0.5 meters per second to the right, and Dino is going two meters per second to the left. So when they hit each other, we need to find their final velocities and what direction are those velocities in. So Dino, if Dino and Catherine hit each other, we might assume that Dino bounces backwards this way and Catherine bounces backwards this way. But if Dino is going fast enough, then maybe he and Catherine will both go to the left. So when, once we solve this problem, we'll get the signs of the velocities, and those signs will tell us if the people are moving to the left or to the right. In this problem, we know that since E is 0 0.7, that the cars do not stick together, which makes sense because bumper cars don't stick together, they bounce off each other. So we need to write the equations. Since masses are the same, we'll have m v c1 plus m v d1 equals m v c2 plus m v d2. This is conservation of momentum. And then we need coefficient of restitution, the E equation. E equals negative VC2 minus VD2 over VC1 minus VD1. Well, conveniently here, since the masses of the cars are the same, they all cancel. So then if we put numbers in, Then we'll have VC1, which is 0 0.5, plus VD1, which is going in the negative x direction, so it is negative 2, equals VC2 plus VD2, equals negative 1.5. Now the E equation, E equals 0 0.7, which equals the negative of Vc2 minus Vd2 over Vc1, which is 0 0.5, minus Vd1, which is negative 2, so then that becomes a positive. So we have 0 0.7 times 2.5 equals negative Vc2 plus Vd2. This equals 1.75. So now we have the two equations, 
momentum conservation in the E equation in two unknowns, Vc2, Vd2. So we just need to plug in and solve. So we'll take this equation and plug it in over here. So we've got 1.75 equals negative Vc2 plus Vd2. So if we add these together, 2 Vd2 equals 0 0.25, Vd2 equals 0 0.125 meters per second. Well, this is a positive number, so that means that Daniel does indeed go to the right. He bounces backwards just a tiny bit. Now, to get Catherine, we come back over here. We know that we rearrange this. Vc2 equals Vd2 minus 1.25. So this is 0.125 minus 1.75. Vc2 equals negative 1.625. So that means that Catherine is going to the left. So we can say that Vc2 equals 1.625 meters per second to the left. 